do you like about school? So I like going, it's a good social environment and I like hanging out with friends. I like recess and lunch. And I also really enjoy some of the subjects I do, like with your English and maths and all that. Like some people hate maths. Like I quite enjoy maths, um, which is weird, but I do quite enjoy it. And it definitely depends on what teachers you get to make you enjoy it. And yeah, just like having a good time with everyone. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, that's and what do you um what do you specifically like about maths? What is it about it that you like? I don't, I don't know. I just find it quite easy. So I guess I'm just naturally good at maths. But I also yeah, and I like working in writing rather than typing on my laptop because I find it easier to concentrate and that stuff as well. Yeah. Nice. Because in nice. like all our English and like science and all that, you're constantly on your computer and I like writing things. Oh, really? To like, yeah, it makes me concentrate and take it in better. Yeah. So is it one of the only lessons that they've left to pen and paper? Yep. Oh, in high school, yeah. Yeah. Yep. I think in primary school they do a bit more on the pen and paper, but high school it's only just maths really. Yep. Yeah. And you're in year 12, aren't you? Yes. Yeah, massive. <laughs> Um, beautiful. And so tell us, what don't you like about school? Oh, some of the teachers aren't very nice, but again, there's lots of them that are very nice. Um, the constant demand of having to, you know, get up early, you stay there all day. Like I hardly see my family at all outside of school. Um, like you don't really have much time to, to do anything else outside of school, like especially in year 12, you like you always have homework you always have something to do and if you've like got a job or something on top of school then it definitely adds and it builds up a lot of pressure throughout the years and it gets worse over time <laughs> yeah how do you feel about having to go there every day well I don't like having to go every day like I wish it was like a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday off, Thursday, Friday. So then you get that little break in the middle, which would be good because then, you know, you don't have to concentrate constantly throughout the week. And then the weekend's your only time off kind of thing because, you know, the weekends are big for everyone. You know, everyone's got sport and stuff. So the weekends aren't really time off. So a Wednesday would be a good day to have a minute because it's right in the middle of the week. Yeah. Yeah. And just to be, and what would you do on that day? You have that day off. What would you do? Sleep. <laughs> I would love a day just to sleep. Yeah, it would be good. Or catch up on schoolwork. That's another thing. Like, because they load you up, and you know, you've got seven assignments from all your different classes that you're trying to do, and yeah, it piles up on top of each other. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? You need a day off of school to do more schoolwork, even though you're there for like mm -hmm. how many hours? Six hours a day? Eight hours? It goes from 8.45 to 3.20. So I don't know how many hours that is. Quite yeah. a few. <laughs> yeah, yeah, over over six hours, yeah. Yeah, day. over six hours. And then homework yeah. and then weekends, yeah. Yeah, it's a lot. Um, And how do you feel that impacts you? you know, with all that work in and It's out a of lot of stress um, and especially since I do start lots of stuff outside of school, like I have two jobs and I dance, so I've got so much to do constantly. Like I never get a break really, which kind of sucks, but you, I've gotten used to it over time and I think there's some people that really do struggle with having to go to school every day because, you know, like, some people, they have to be there for their families. They're looking after their siblings. They're working to support their family, yet they're trying to be in school as well. And that's a really – and it really stresses you out. And, yeah, it there's some people that deal with it better than others. You've really just got to organise your time as best as you can, which is yeah. very difficult to do without the right people, like things to write down or some people do notes, some people like calendars or lists. It's all different. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And especially having, it sounds like as well, to have that support. Do you feel like you've got um support? Because, you know, like you were just saying, people are working, they need, a, they need work to sustain their lives. Do you feel like you've got that family um 
that yes, that support, or would you in an ideal world love more support or how would you change that? Well, there is quite a lot of support. Like I know with jobs and like if you're in high school and you've got a job, they'll kind of work around your school and like if you've got a sign or something, they'll be like, Oh, that's okay. But that gets a bit harder over time with, you know, there's not as many people or you might have to work this day. But families are also a big part because if you don't have the family support that you need, then it'll be harder to do with school. Like there's quite a few school teachers that will help you and work towards things and like give extensions and that. But there's some teachers that will be like, right, this is the date that things are due. You have to do this, you have to do that, and you have to do all these other things for it, which definitely isn't the best. But sometimes they have to do that so students actually get the work done if that makes sense yeah yeah, yeah. it's a lot it sounds like oh, I'm tired talking <laughs> to you all the things uh if you could learn anything um what would you learn like what would your ideal what would you what do you want to learn well I'm really big on dance so I wish we had a dance curriculum at our school but unfortunately, we weren't able to do that. Like we looked into online, like open access, all of that. But it's also because I'm in a small town. It's obviously harder to get subjects. And there's quite a few things that like my school doesn't offer, which is sad. But hopefully in the future, they are working towards more like more sport related things, like specifically for certain sports and like, you know, for singing is dancers art all that type of stuff they have all that which is good yeah so you'd like to swap out a few of your subjects for dance how many would you swap yeah, out I, wish. Dance? Oh, I don't know I, I like all of my subjects that I'm doing this year but if I was in like younger years I would probably switch out like a language or a science because that's not really what I'm into because I'm more sporty like I hated science. I couldn't sit there and learn because it was so much to remember. And yeah, <laughs> I just didn't like yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Too I'm much all brain different. Power. Yeah, yeah we're, everyone's we're all different. different. <laughs> A lot of people would be looking at you going, How does she dance like that? Yeah. And then, yeah, it's like me, like, How do you learn like biology and chemistry? Like, I have not, like, I would be completely lost. But then they'll be like, Oh my God, I cannot learn those steps or whatever. Yeah. yeah. And not just the steps, how do you remember that many steps for a whole dance or a whole, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So we're all different, I guess. What yeah, everyone's different. different. Yeah. What would you like to see more of at schools? More like games, like within a cohort, like we have all our little groups and only sometimes we all get together and we do a big thing. And when we get together, it's really good. But if we could do that more often, it would be great so everyone could form like closer friendships rather than being like oh we hardly know that person we don't want to talk to them kind of thing like mm -hmm. it would be so much better if we could all talk be friends and not like have people that hate each other like there's always going to be people that don't like each other because of certain things but if we could all try bonding more that would be good yeah. and you know that you got your 12s and your 7s and all the age groups in between and we do activities together and we go through mindfulness and bullying and we go through heaps of things that could help in the future or like how to study better, building friendships with the little kids so they have someone to look up to and then, yeah, hopefully that will keep going. But it's all just coming together, that's your favourite beer. Yeah, <laughs> It would be and good you, because then the like the younger kids, they'll have more relationship with the older kids. Like when I was in year seven, I was terrified of the year twelves. Like I like we would not go anywhere near them. But it would have been good to have those relationships and you know, then you can have someone to talk to. Like if you're stuck at school, then you have someone who's done that kind of thing and they yeah. can help you through it. Yeah. Cause teachers, they learned school ages ago. They've been constantly learning for ages. And when you're finding something hard to learn, they're like, oh, why aren't you getting it? Even though they've taken years and years and they've had hundreds of years of practice. <laughs> it was like that when you're, when you're with them, isn't it? It's like, you've been doing this forever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's like, we've been doing this for a week and you expect us to know it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah that's, they, they lose that, um, they forget how what the learning process is like. Yeah. 
Yeah. And it, yeah, it's quite different now because, you know, we don't use books and stuff anymore. It's all online. Yeah. So, like, information's easier to get, but it's harder to take in unless you're typing. Like, because some people can read it, they understand it. Other people have to read, read a little bit more, go through it. And that takes them a while to understand rather than getting it immediately. Yeah. So yeah. it kind of like the 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 way that they're doing it and I guess the way that whatever they've done, they just cater to one kind of learner. Like yeah, they, like, yeah. Yeah, some teachers cater to more learning styles. Like, you know, they'll print off sheets and they'll give it and they'll explain it. They'll go through everything. They'll give examples. Other teachers will be like, here's the task. Here's what you're doing. This is the due date. Do it. I'll help you if you need, but then they kind of explain it one way rather than like, if you don't understand it and they're explaining it the same way over and over, you're never going to understand it. So like, this is not helping. Yeah. (laughs) But you know, then you can always go to other teachers for help as well. Like all teachers are open to help all the time, which is good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, A bit frustrating. (laughs) Um, And tell us, how would you design a school if you got to design whatever it's called, a, a school or somewhere, a place where you learn, how would you des- design that? Oh, Probably just like trying to be as open and inviting as possible, like using brighter colours rather than duller colours, making it nice and comfortable, like a place where students want to go rather than, you know, they feel like they have to go to it because their parents are making them, the government's making them, like somewhere where they would like to go, they enjoy and they will have fun rather than just like, oh, this is so boring. But I guess it's kind of hard with the curriculum and everything. Like I understand why there is a curriculum because, but it is a lot of learning in such a short amount of time in some situations. (laughs) And do you feel it's all relevant? Do you feel like you need to learn all this stuff that's in this curriculum? Some things are relevant, but then there's a, quite a few things that are like, well, well, I feel that was like, well, I don't need to know that because that's not what I want to do kind of thing. Like, especially in the younger grades where you don't get to choose your subjects, you're learning everything. It's like, well, this is pointless because I don't want to go do this kind of job or I don't want to be like a scientist or an astronaut or anything when I'm older. Um. So tell us about a perfect world then. How what, what in your perfect day? What is your perfect day? If you just got to plan your perfect day, what would you be doing most days? Dancing, <laughs> or like I love working and dancing. So I'll probably just spend my day working, and then I'll go and dance, and then I'll come home, have dinner, have a sleep. Sorry, I don't know who that is. That's my brother. This is life. Just this is life for the family. In the background. Family. Oh. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> so you'd dance. You'd work, dance. And sleep. And sleep. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's sleep. all. That's nice. That's good. <laughs> How can we as, I guess, us as adults, what can we do to make your life create a better world for you guys and bring more of that, you know, f- I don't know, what is it that we can do to create more of what you're, you would like to see? Well, I guess it's kind of hard. Like it's not going to change instantly. It's more of a gradual time changing thing because it's just too hard. It will start with one school, go to another and then build on, build on. But like just trying to, I guess, make schools a safer environment. Like in South Australia, the schools are great, but sometimes, you know, there's certain people at schools and you'd be like, right, I don't want to go to school because of this person or this teacher because, you know, they're like so mean or so grumpy all the time. Like if, you know, just be happy, (laughs) try to be happy in your job. And there's a few teachers that are quite scary and it's like, right, your time's over. You're not adapting to the new learning style because like children these days, would learn differently to children from a while ago, like, because everyone's changed, like, schools are different now and the way our brains work is different. So it's, yeah, makes it hard to change, I guess. 
Yeah. So just a bit safer, more inviting. Yeah, more safe, safer, more inviting, funner. Fun, I guess. Yes. yes. Yeah. If the, like the if the days weren't as long, so you wouldn't have to wake up as early, and you could have more time with your family or doing other stuff that you'd like to do. Really, yeah. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah. And is there any way? How would you like to be treated differently? Would you like to be treated differently, or? If you do, how? Uh, well, with, like, again, with some teachers, it's like, okay, like, I'm a person too. I'm not a robot. I have a life. So really, like, just teachers need to see kids and, well, students as, like, humans. Like, they, we all have a life too and we all do stuff outside of school, but some teachers don't recognize that like because teaching is their job and they like go home and do whatever but we like I don't get home until nine o'clock most nights mm -hmm. and I'm out of the house by like 7 30 mm -hmm. so it's a long day away from home and yeah if it was shorter teachers be nicer and yeah just just a lot of things that add up over time yeah yeah, simple things. They seem quite simple. Be nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Make things more fun. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Awesome. Well, I is there anything you wanted to add? Because that's amazing. Thank you so much for sharing. Not sure. Sorry. I don't know. No, you're all good. Else. Thank you so much for sharing that. That was so good. <laughs>